So I have to be honest here. I didn't really know that this was a thing. I didn't know this thing existed until about last month. And it's the Nisi close-up lens or close-up lens kit, depending on how they call it on their website. And there's a couple different brands, but um, I'm familiar with Nisi just because I have their uh, couple of their filters and uh, in these. And I actually ended up picking it up during Black Friday. Now, first thing you're going to tell about this video is the lighting's pretty rough. The shadows are kind of harsh. Um, I tried room bouncing. Didn't really work. Just because um, I have to put this on a, not F16, but T16. This is a T lens. Just to make it work uh, because of the nature of these uh, kind of macro lenses. And so I have the Nanlite 720. And it's on uh, about 48% um, on a T16. So sorry about the kind of harsh lighting, but uh, it takes a lot of light to, to get this to work. So let me open this up for you. It comes in this nice little hard pouch. And this is it. It's just a simple, just a simple little piece of glass, really. I mean, there's probably more than one piece of glass. Uh, um, I'm sure there's uh, at least two elements in there, but let me see if I can, there you go. Okay, so yeah, it just says Nisi close-up lens. This is a 77. Uh, they have different sizes, but my cinema lens kit, they're all 77. So um, I got that and I can always adapt it to down to smaller lenses, but I wanted to get the biggest one that I have um, so that I can do a lot of video with these cinema lenses that I really like. These are the Metacon. So let me kind of show you what it's like. I wish I could go outside and do like some really cool stuff. Fortunately, weather is not permitting that right now. So this will be kind of like an overview and then I'll spend some time and I'll make a, a better video, but I just wanted to show this to you. So this is a ruler. So this, by the way, is a 50 mil that you're looking through. This is a micro four thirds. So you could argue it's a hundred. You might not, you might say 50, still a 50, whatever. In any case, this is a 50 millimeter on a micro four thirds sensor. So um, for practical use, most people would consider it a hundred millimeter. They say that you need to use this on a telephoto lens or it doesn't really do much. So um, in the cinema lens kit that I have, 50 is the, the highest it goes. So um, I do have some stills lenses that go a little higher, but um, in this, you know, without trying to adapt and pull out all my adapters and stuff, um, I'm just going to stick to the uh, 77 millimeter lenses here. So, and if you're curious, what I'm using, it's these uh, Zongi Metacon Speedmasters, uh, the Cine lenses, right? So, so here is a ruler, and the other thing you have to know before you use this is that the amount of space in which you can focus dramatically shrinks down. So, right now, just to give you an idea, um, you're talking about probably a foot and a half away from the edge of the lens. And this is right there, is about the furthest I can um, focus. Actually, I have a tape measure right here. So from the edge of the lens, if I can reach the edge of the lens, you're looking at, yeah, nine, 19 inches. So 19 inches to the edge of the ruler, about 20 to the middle of the writing which is about um, the f closest focusing distance for this lens being a 50 mil, okay? So now let me go ahead and screw this on and all you do is you just, it's got some threading. It's got exterior threading here and then on the other side it's got interior, so I guess you could stack them maybe, I don't know. And let me just slip that on. It The threading is very fine and it does risk ruining the threads if you're not careful. So take your time. It is not very easy to thread. Okay. 
So you can see it's immediately blurry. Let's see what the closest focusing distance is now. Right, not quite. I'm looking for the uh, focus peaking. Uh, right about there. So we are looking at uh, seven inches. So I went from 20 inches to seven inches as uh, for the uh, closest focusing distance. So this is what a centimeter looks like. And this is what an inch looks like. And then on the other side, there's these little presidents and you can see these are about a centimeter wide so definitely a lot more um, detail up close here's a tape measure so that's that's an inch you can see an eighth of an inch sixteenth of an inch thirty second of an inch very clearly, so it definitely does a good job. I can't wait to get this out and try it again. Sorry, the weather just stinks, and I um, I want to make this video and get it out of the way so you at least are familiar with what I'm showing you before I get out and uh, do a full video on, on testing. I don't have anything cool like ants or anything to show you, thankfully, because I'm at home. I would not want them here. And let me take it off now. So, there you go. That's the Nisi close-up lens or lens kit, and and hopefully I can get out and make uh, make a video outside looking at some some pretty cool stuff. All right. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.